What's up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and today I'm here to give you guys a little bit of an update on my PS4 controller. Now the last time I did this was in the month of November I think. That was before like Black Ops 3 was released. And I think it was like five days before the release day. So um the controller that I ended up buying during that month, it's this one. This is the one that I'm currently using right now. And let me give you guys a little bit of an update. It's already broken. <laughs> it took me five months to break down this controller after playing a lot of Black Ops 3 and several other games, but it was mostly Black Ops 3. And let me tell you guys what's wrong with it already, because I bought this one out of Walmart, because it was like for 49 bucks. And um, on GameStop, it cost like 64 bucks. So it was cheaper for me to get it at Walmart. It was the same kind too, it was no other different kind. It was the same you know, detail and everything. So um, what's broken about this controller is that, um, let me start from left to right, the directional pad sometimes gets stuck like I can't feel it right now, but when I'm playing the game, you know, it starts to get stuck while playing Black Ops 3. And I do use it to uh, change weapons. I think I've forgotten what I use the directional pad for, but sometimes it does get stuck. Maybe I just need to clean out a little bit. Another thing that's broken about this controller is the right analog stick. This one, if I play like um, I believe Madden, if I create a character, that character is gonna be rotating all the time because this one tilts to the left. So um, that's what sucks about it. Like sometimes if I do leave my control on the floor, I'm, I'm Black Ops 3, the character will move by itself like this, like slowly. It's bullshit, man. So yeah, I did break the right analog stick on this controller. Another thing that's broken about this controller is the circle button. When I'm playing Black Ops 3, I no longer slide sometimes. Like it'll just like stay standing like that. And I'm like, I'm expecting you to slide and then I get killed. Like out of fucking nowhere. So. There's uh, it's quite a little bit of things you know that's broken about the controller. Uh, these two, the, these buttons right here are okay, and the triangle and the square are okay. You know, it's just the circle button and the Ryan lock stick that are kind of messing me up right now because those are the most buttons that I use, I guess. I don't even know. What, oh yeah, circle. I use it for sliding. I was about to say I don't even know why I use circle for in Black Ops 3, but it's mostly for sliding, and I do that a lot in the game. So uh, that's my update about this controller that I bought it from Walmart. I really need to buy another one now and. Because it's kind of getting me annoyed that um, I'm trying to slide and then all of a sudden my character just stands there like a fucking dummy. Like, like fuck that, man. And also, you know, before I had this controller, for those of the people who didn't watch that video, this is the one I had prior. Let me clean it a little bit because it's a little bit dirty. I haven't used it like since, you know, I'm telling you like since September or something. And this was the last one that I had. This is the one that I use for advanced warfare with no rubber. So as you can see, it does not have rubber. That is actually the rubber right there that's hanging off. That is the rubber for the unlock stick. And I used this during advanced warfare. I think it was advanced warfare's fault that I finished the rubbers. But all the buttons were okay. And this was the release, you know, the initial release of the PS4. You know, this was the first controller that I had for the PS4. And it worked perfectly until I played advanced warfare and I finished the whole damn rubber. Look at this piece of crap. It was not gum. A lot of people say it was gum that was stuck in my controller. No, that's the rubber. That's this crap right here on the analog stick. This one hasn't finished. I'm surprised, man. And I'm jumping all over the goddamn time in Black Ops 3. But this one is pretty much finished. Because, you know, Advanced Warfare was pretty much Call of Duty on cocaine. So, um, I really need to get a new controller. And I'm thinking of getting it from a company this time. Maybe from Scuff or something. I don't know. Uh, but it will be great if somebody will link me to uh, you know a, w a website where I can buy controllers from, and um, hopefully you know maybe get sponsored by them or something. I don't know because I'm great at the game. I'm telling you, I need a controller that will actually last at least a year, man. All these controllers have only lasted me six months or something, and it's kind of pathetic. You know, these things cost so much, but yet I, I get so little. So I mean, I want something that will last me longer. So. Uh, yeah, guys, that's my update. I'll probably get a controller like pretty soon, maybe by next month, and I'll probably do an unboxing on that one too, so you guys can you know keep updated like what I use and what equipment or whatever. Because a lot of people think that I use like oh badass headset to play the Call of Duty game or something like no man, I just use the default controller on the freaking game. So I'm good at the game playing with the default controller. So you can't really criticize me on using scuff or whatever. So that is it, guys. That's the update. My controller is fucked up. And I needed to get a new one. I, I should probably start a donation box. <laughs> nah, just kidding, guys. I'm not that broke. So that's it, guys. See you guys later. And subscribe for more.